She's a wonderful actress. Now that you have listened to the conversation, tell me what happens next. Nice to have you back with us. So can you tell me which movies are playing in theaters right now? Can you tell me which movies have you seen? The next conversation is about two people trying to decide which movie to see tonight. Try to listen carefully for details. What's playing? Part A. Listen and practice. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies.
Hello, Lisette. Welcome. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. And you, teacher? Very oh. good. Are you enjoying this weather? Are you enjoying this rain? Um, in my case, no rain. Oh, it's not raining. No. It's it's raining where I live. No raining. Ah, okay. Over here where I live, it is raining. Wow. Yes. And how was your day? My day was very, very good, teacher. Really? In my work, advanced much in my, como digo, activities, in my activities, in my job, avancé bastante, como digo. I advanced I, a lot. I or I got, lot. I got a lot done. You can also say, I got a lot done. I got a lot done. Yeah, like this. I got a lot done. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yes, of course. Uh, tell me a little bit about your job. What are some of your tasks? Excuse me, teacher. Uh, tell me a little bit about your job. What are your normal tasks at work? Um, my task in my job is supervise the cashier. And realize activities the control interno, como digo? You could say, I take internal control. I, I take, take internal, con internal control. control. Oh, you can say, I supervise cashiers okay and so provide ATM mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and other activity okay and how many hours a day do you normally work 10 hours. Wow. Every day. Every day. Okay. That sounds good. That's, and are you having fun? Do you like it? Mm, I like it. But, um, I want to win more. I want to earn more. You can say, I want to earn more. 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 Can you see it on my screen? I want to earn more. Yes, I see. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, teacher. Let me have Marlon Barrientos. How are you? Good, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mario. How was your day today? Today was stressful for my job. Really? Tell me yes. why. What happened? Um, 
because I, I am a supervisor of production lines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I need to complete goals for the company. Okay. Um, in moment, in moments is very complicated. Complete the goals. Okay. Okay. And um, do do you enjoy your job? Mm, yes, yes, I like it. I like, but for a moment is stressful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what do you do to release stress? Oh, um, in my case, I like to, to practice sports. For example, I like go to room after work mm, I like watch series and I like watch matches 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 partidos oh you could say I like to watch games games uh-huh I like to to watch games you could say soccer 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 games uh football Football yes. games, or you could say ba games. basketball games. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. I like that. I like that. Sports is an excellent way to relax. Thank you, Marlon, yes. for your participation. Hello. Monica Escobar, how are you? Hello, Monica Escobar, how are you? Okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to look at the following activity. Now, for the following activity, what we are going to be looking at is the video. The topic of the video is about movies. Movies. Do you like movies? Do you like movies? Do you like movies yes teacher yes I, like I, like. yes I do okay uh, can somebody tell me what movies are in theaters right now What movies are in theaters right now? I don't know, teacher. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Why? You don't know? Why? <laughs> I, don't, I don't go to the cinema. <laughs> oh, you don't like to go to the movies? Yes, I like, but I don't have any time. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. And can you tell me when was the last time that you remember that you went to the movies? What movie did you watch? <laughs> A lot of years ago, and I can't remember the last movie ah, okay okay that's okay that's okay i think i am going to go watch the new thor movie has anybody watched thor movie the new one Nobody? 
Nobody has watched the new Thor movie? No. Nobody? No, teacher. No. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay. Uh, we are going to listen to the video, please. Listen to the video. Teacher, no here. No se escucha. Teacher. No fear. Okay. Who can tell me what you think is going to happen next? What do you think is going to happen next? Huh? Who can tell me what do you think is going to happen next? Do you want me to repeat it? Do you want me to repeat it? Can you tell me what happens next? I don't know, teacher. Okay, do you want me to repeat it? Yes, please. Okay, I'm going to repeat it and then you are going to tell me what do you think happens next? Mm -hmm. Which movies are playing in theaters right now? Can you tell me which movies have you Can seen? everybody hear? The next conversation is about two people trying to Not decide teacher. which movie to see You can't me. hear? Try to listen carefully. Please. No, it's very, it's very low. Can you listen now? Listen practice. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. Can everybody hear? Not teacher. No, yes, oh. but it's low. It's very, it's very low. Let me check the volume. Yep, it's maximum, maximum. Maybe it's for the rain. It could be because of the rain. It could be. Okay. So for this activity, you are going to listen to the conversation and over here in the discussion forum, you are going to write what you think is going to happen next. You are going to write what you think is going to happen next. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Do you yes. have any questions? No. All right. At this moment, I activated the ability for everybody to share the screen. So, what does that mean? If you work in pairs, 
one student in the group can share the screen with everybody. Any questions? Does somebody have a question? No question. No question. Do you want, all right. Are you ready? Ready. ready. Okay, let's do it. Share your screen. Share your screen. This is the video. The point three one. Three one. What's playing? Yes. Se escucha. No. Ahora. Tampoco. Hey, uh, tiene que presionarle donde dice share audio, share audio. Ahí donde dice participantes creo que es, o donde dice share screen, pero tiene que darle la opción que dice share audio en Zoom, en Zoom. No en la plataforma, en Zoom, en la plataforma de Zoom. Yo estoy compartiendo la pantalla. Ah, ok, pero alguien estaba escribiendo ahí que no se escucha. Mm, no, no, no. Yo no tengo ese problema. Ah, ok, ok.
Vaya, aquí es donde supuestamente vamos a decir qué creemos que fue lo que pasó. Hola. Hola. Hello. Ahí lo que pasa es que se acaban las entradas. Ajá, sí. O oh, is closed tonight. No es que la terminaron de presentar o no. Mm. Last night creo que dice. Ajá, sí, last night. It's closed uh -huh. tonight. Perdón, sí. last night. Eso significa que, que se acabaron las entradas anoche. No es que fue la última presentación anoche, digamos. Mm, creo que fue la última. Vez. ¿Cómo? Fue la última presentación, según lo que entendí. Ajá, yo también entendí que fue la última presentación. Y que se va a ir a la casa a ver televisión o algo así. No. Hola. Permítame. All right, all right. Is everybody finished? Are you finished or do you need more time? Are you finished or do you need more time? More time, teacher. Okay, Please. okay. Excellent, excellent. Thank you.
Hello, Amanda. Hello. Va, eh, cuando ella llamó, el de la taquilla le dijo que eh, Heliberry Movie Closed Last Night. Entonces ya no se iba a presentar. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, se van, como que se van para la casa y a ver, tele, a, ver, a ver televisión. Sí, parece que dicen al final, ah, es la misma historia. Vamos a la casa a ver a la televisión. Sí, dice, it's not showing anymore. It's just uh -huh. finished place last night. Uh -huh. They was TV tonight. It's fine with me, dice el, el men. Uh -huh. Sí, así es. Hello, 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 everybody. Are you finished? Are you finished or do you need more time? Hello, hello, are you finished or do you need more time? Finished, teacher. Okay, thank you, Amanda. Let's go ahead and listen to your examples. Amanda, can you please give me your example? Um, teacher, I just listened to the conversation, but I, but I don't have a sentence. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. Mario, did you write your examples on the discussion forum? Mario, can you hear me? Sorry. Oh, I see Marlon, Marlon. They can't go to see the movie and they watch TV at home. Ding, 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 ding. Good job, Marlon. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Marlon. That is Thank correct. You. They can Thank go you. see the movie and they will watch TV at home. Why? Because the movie is not in theaters anymore. The movie closed. Everybody repeat. The movie closed. The movie closed. The movie, the movie closed. closed. That's right. So they can't go watch the movie. They're going to stay home and watch the movie. Excellent, Marlon. Thank you. Okay. Everybody, that's your homework to write it in the discussion forum over here. Now, what we are going to do is continue and look at the next activity. At this moment, does anybody have any questions referring to this activity? Questions? Does anybody have any questions about the audio?
Questions about the audio? No, teacher. Okay, okay, that's okay. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and look at the following activity. We're going to be working from section number 3.2. By the end of this class, participants will comprehend how to use the present participle and the past participle as adjectives. Al final de esta clase, los participantes comprenderán cómo usar participios en presente y pasado como adjetivos. Okay. Participles as adjectives. Present participle equals ad. For example, excite. Excite. Listen, please. Can everybody hear? Can everybody hear? And in past, please take notes and yes, feel free to play the audio program as well as the explanation as many times as you need to. Welcome. This time you will learn about participles used as adjectives in present and in past. Please take notes and feel free to play the audio program as well as the explanation as many times as you need to. Page so this is present Exercise and past. Three. Grammar focus. Listen, please. Repeat. Stephen King's books are fascinating. Stephen King's books are fascinating. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. So, in this exercise, we understand that we can use the subject, Stephen King, Stephen King's books is the subject. R is the B verb because books is plural subject. Stephen King's books, how many? I don't know. One book, two books, three books, four books, five books, six books. It's plural. So I use the B verb R for the simple present. And then I use the adjective fascinating in the present continuous, ing, or present participles is the same thing. You are using an adjective as a verb. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. So you are expressing your feelings. What are your feelings? Fascinating, boring, interesting, exciting, wonderful, exhilarated, awesome. Do you understand? Yes, it is. yes teacher. Okay, so these are adjectives being used as participles, as verbs. In the second example, we see the same thing. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. Or Stephen King's books are fascinating. What is the difference? The difference is that in the second sentence, I is the subject. Stephen King's books is the object. In the first example, Stephen King's books, that's the subject, are fascinating. There is no object. In the second example, I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. I is the subject, Stephen King's books is the object. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, 
I'm going to give you a, an example in Spanish. Uh, for example, Stephen King's books are fascinating uh, in Spanish. Los libros de Stephen King son fascinante. First example. Number two. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. A mí me fascinan los libros de Stephen King. That's the difference on the concept. Do you understand the concept, the idea? Yes, teacher. Okay, Mario, can you give me an example in Spanish? And then I am going to translate it to English. Give me an example like this one. In Spanish, and I will translate. I, I, all I want to know is that you understand the concept. Okay, wait. Stephen King's books are fascinating. Los libros de Stephen King son fascinante. Stephen King's books are amazing. Uh, no, no, no. You can give me another example. You can give me another okay. example. For example, eh, las motos del Yamaha me fascinan. Uh, la comida de Burger King me encanta. Right. Give me an example like that in Spanish. Um, los partidos de la NBA me encantan. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So you could say NBA games are awesome. Okay, you understand the concept. Good. Now give me the same sentence with the second concept, this concept, past participles. The same sentence, this, but this concept. Me encantan los juegos de la nieve. Very good. A uh, mí me... Okay, sorry. I'm fascinated by NBA games. Okay, that's the concept. Very simple, very easy. Now, we're going to watch the video and then we are going to review. We're going to watch the video and then we're going to review. Participles as adjectives. Present participle. Welcome. This time you will learn about participles used as adjectives in present and in past. Please take notes and feel free to play the audio program as well as the explanation as many times as you need to. Page 87. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Participles as adjectives. Present participles. Stephen King's books are fascinating. The last James Bond film was boring. The new Halle Berry movie sounds interesting. Past participles. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. I was bored by the last James Bond film. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. Before we begin, I want to go over to what exactly is the past participle. The past participle is the form of a verb typically ending in ed in English. 
that is used in forming perfect and passive tenses and sometimes as an adjective. In this section, we'll study participles as adjectives. Pay attention. I want to go over two important points. Number one, do you remember what an adjective is? Very good. An adjective describes a noun. For example, the white cat ran away from John. Adjective, white, noun, cat. In other words, because participles can be used as adjectives, it means that the participle as adjective also describes a noun. For example, the white cat was exciting to watch. Noun, cat, participle as adjective, exciting. Number two. I imagine you noticed we use present and past participles during the audio program. Let's work around that. When we use present participle, we add ing. And when we use past participle, we add ed. Notice what happens here. We took the verb excite and we turn it into present participle, becoming exciting. The same verb, but this time into past participle, and it became excited. I know you're wondering when to use participles in present or past. Here you go. Present participles describe a noun. And past participles describe the feeling of a noun. I'll try to simplify it. ing equals outside factor that causes a feeling. ED equals expresses the feeling or reaction. With examples, I am sure you will understand it better. Here, I am just showing you the present and past participle. Interesting, interested. Tiring, tired. Exciting, Tiring. Ex Okay, now we're going to pause the video just a little bit right now because I want everybody to understand that there are a lot more present and past participles, okay? Don't think that it's only these examples. There are a lot more words that can be used in the present and past participles. Okay? Just want to clarify that. Cited. Now we'll use them in sentences. The museum is interesting. I'm interested. Work is tiring. I am tired. The movie is exciting. I'm excited. Please complete the description below with the correct form of these words. As always, write your answers in our discussion box. Everybody repeat after me, please. Amaze. 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 Annoy. 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 Confuse. 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 Disgust. 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 Embarrassed. Embarrassed. Shock. Shock. One more time. One more time. Amaze. 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 Annoy. 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 Confuse. 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 Disgust. 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 Embarrassed. Embarrassed. Shock. Shock. Yeah. One more time. One more time. Amaze. 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 Annoy. Annoy. Confuse. 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 Disgust. 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 Embarrassed. 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 Shock. Shock. Shock.
Yes. All right. All right. Now we are going to read the bottom. I had a terrible time at the movies. I had a terrible time at the movies. Everybody repeat, please. I had a terrible time at the movies. I had, I had a terrible, terrible time, time at the, the movies. First, my ticket cost $10. First, First my, my ticket cost $10. $10. $10. I was really mm, by the price. I was, I really, was really by the price. By, the price. by mistake, I gave the cashier a five dollar bill instead of a ten. I gave by mistake. I, I gave mistake. a five dollar bill instead of a bill instead of a ten. One more time. By mistake, I gave the cashier a five dollar bill instead of a ten. By mistake, By mistake I gave the cashier a five bill instead of a ten. I was a little. Mm, I was a little. I was, I a, was little. a little annoyed. Uh uh. <laughs> Don't give the answers yet. Don't give the answers yet. That's going to be your homework. Then there was trash all over the theater. Then there was trash all over the theater. Then there was trash all over the theater. The mess was. Mm. The mess was, was. The mess was. The people behind me talked during the movie, which was. Mm. People behind. The people the behind me during the movie, which was. The story was hard to follow. The story was hard to follow. I always find the thrillers too. Mm. I always, I always find the thrillers, thrillers too. too. I liked the special effects, though. I like the, the special effects. The special effects, though. They were. Mm. They, they were. were. Mm. Okay. <laughs> So you are going to complete this paragraph with this vocabulary in the correct tense, present or past participle. You have five minutes. You can share your screen. Ready, go. Go, 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 go. Pero yo no capturé la pantalla y está complicado para encontrarlo. Usted sí la, la, la capturó la pantalla. Permítame. Welcome. This time you will learn about participles uses adjectives. Ok. Gracias, Marlon. Mario, perdón. Ok. 
Um, but for example, I have a terrible time at the move at the movies. First, my ticket cost ten. Uh, was really disgust by the price. Is correct? Is discuss amazing? Mm. Amazing, 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 amazing. Don't they say amazing? Amazing. Ah, amazing. That is correct. <laughs> okay, by the price. By mistake, I gave the cashier. Uh, no, 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 no. In this case, in this case, uh, we're going to say, I was really disgusted. Disgusted. Uh huh. Disgusted. By. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. De how do you say? Eh, tuve una experiencia muy mala en el cine. Mi ticket costó diez dólares. Estaba bastante disgusted. Eh, disgusted quiere decir como like ugh, guacala. Disgustado. Right. By mistake, I gave the cashier a uh, five bills dollars in steel of a ten. I was a little embarrassed. <laughs> embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Then there was twice all over the chair. The disgust. Aha, you igual, yes. Disgust. Okay. We have more less. This by uh, it's really disgust by the price. By mistake, I gave the cashier a five bill instead of a ten. I was a little. Enoy. Okay. Enoy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then there was trash all over the the what's the pronunciation? Theater. 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 All over the theater, the mess was what's what's the meaning of embarrass? Embarrass. Embarrassed is como que me dio pena, tenía pena. In this case, the mess, the mess was the sorting in the mess. The mess is, is the sorting. Mess. Say, uh, no sé, confuse. A mess. Um, the sorting. Ah, okay. Me asombró. All right, guys, time's up, time's up.
See you tomorrow. Please continue working on the platform. Good night. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.